Hello and welcome to the vlog. Before we start with our continuation of our journey along the Grand Union Canal, um, I want to speak about Brentford, which we covered in last week's vlog. They have had severe loss of water on the canal um, and to the point that CRT have no restricted movement of boats along that section towards Brentford docks. Um, it's also causing concern for the Brentford gauging locks as well due to the lack of water. Um, CRT are onto it um, and I think there's more than one problem. Um, I, what I've done at the beginning of this video is put on a couple of photographs that have been taken through people's windows and offices to show how bad the situation is down at Brentford. Um, the fire brigade have also been called out several times to help out boats that are, um, have been in a bit of problems there as well. Um, so we want to wish everybody the very, very best of luck at Brentford and, and hope you, the, the problem gets solved pretty soon. Um, we still have our friends on the Grand Union uh, too, um, so they are um, stuck on there for the time being until the uh, restrictions have been lifted. So we'd like to wish them all the very best and hope to catch up with them soon. So let's get on with the vlog. This is the start of the Hanwell Locks. So we're going up a flight of six, but it's broken up into two lots of three. It's coming up in the first of the flight of three. A small pound, then another one. This is number two. Oh, these gates on here are really stiff. <laughs> well, that's Jonathan going in the rise of the third one. I have to say, really loving, sort of using a silly stirrup on the Kennet Nathan. We've got a fantastic step up, so that's excellent. Along the Hangwell flight of locks run the high walls of St Bernard's Hospital. Built in 1831, it was more commonly known as Hanwell's Pauper and Lunatic Asylum. It was the first purpose-built public asylum in England and Wales, but it was way ahead of its time. The asylum stands on 44 acres and was purchased from the Earl of Jersey at a cost of £64,000. The asylum did away with restraints and found it essential for recovery that patients should get out in the full daylight for fresh exercise and air. They had its own carpentry, bakery and brewery and other means to make self-sufficient as possible. The asylum also had its own dock, barges to deliver coal and take away the freshly produced fruits and vegetables and other goods that were produced at the hospital. The holes in the wall with the red painted doors were to enable firemen fighting fires in the asylum to put the hoses through the walls into the canal for water. You can also see some ramps in the water. This enabled horses from towing boats that had fallen into the canal to get out again.
After the Hanwell flight, we moored up overnight at the Three Bridges. The Three Bridges was part of a railway project engineered by Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Work began in 1856 to carry both Windmill Lane and the Grand Junction Canal over a double-tracked broad-gauge Great Western and Brentford Railway in a deep cutting 34 feet below. Brunel died just two months after it was completed. It was at our mooring we found out that both Julie and Jonathan had both injured the same finger in the same lock going up Hanwell Flight. After first aid was administered, we settled down for the evening to discuss our journey so far from Teddington Lock over a nice plate of sausage rolls and a few drinks. Duckweed. Thick, thick duckweed. This is the top of the flight. going through soup. Well, this is our second day on the Grand Union. It's raining, which is why we decided to leave the Thames a day earlier, because we knew this was coming in. It's supposed to be high winds as well, but it's not too bad at the moment. No, I think not a lot of wind at all. It's coming in a bit later, isn't it, I think? Is it? Lunchtime, late lunchtime. We've just come through the Norwood Top Lock. Yeah, Norwood Flight. Oh, no, Hannam. Hannam yeah, Flight. That was the Nor Norwood Top Norwood Top Lock that we've just come through, and we've just filled it with water, and we're heading on. 